Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to be doing our final Let's Beginner, uh, Let's Learn Paint.net or something. I don't know. Um, kind of tutorial thing uh, for the beginners that are starting off with Paint.net. Um, now this thing, there, this video, like it says in the title, um, it's five tips um, for Paint.net. So without further ado, the first tip, I'm just going to scale this up to about that, is try plugins. Um, play around with them. Um, I mean, the, the program is pretty basic without plugins. You can do a lot more if you get plugins. Um, check out the plugin tutorial if you um, haven't watched my series yet. It has um, the links, or even the links below to get um, where to get plugins and stuff like that will help you succeed your artistic abilities so definitely get plugins um, I just recommend the bowl bait pack and seamless texture maker to start with and then just kind of download and play around with other ones that you find on the, uh, the forms there um, next tip is use layers um, Definitely use layers. It makes your life a lot easier, especially if you mess up on something and you have to go back and edit it later for uh, later use or it even for using it for like if you're using paint.net for doing thumbnails on YouTube and stuff, um, I recommend keeping a layered p uh nd a uh, paint dot or a pdn i think it is a dot pdn file with all your layers and stuff for your um your layout for your thumbnail now the reason for that is because when you save it as a pdn it actually saves all your individual layers as well it doesn't compress them all down so if you need to go and Put something in the exact same location as it was then you can use layers to do that um, you can also um, easily edit them as well um, moving on to the third tip and that is let's just do this um, try different processes um, reason for that is not every system that you use like a fact or adjustment is going to have the exact same um, kind of result for your image so say if you were to do a uh, let's see um, an effect for a blur or something like that or maybe a distorter it's not going to be the same when you use uh, adjustment um, to brighten up the image because it's totally different pixels. Um, I recommend playing around with things before you actually go and make your end result um, because it's sometimes different on how things look and sometimes if you play around with it enough you'll end up getting a a better looking photo from just doing it the exact opposite way. Um, moving on to the fourth tip. Uh, learn some shortcuts. Uh, definitely uh, cut and paste and I, I would say selection shortcuts would be some handy ones as well to learn. Um, I mean it's not necessary but it will get things done a lot faster and uh, more efficient because you can easily just type in a control uh, S or control D to deselect or something like that rather than you know going up there deselect all, all this other stuff. Um, it does save time regardless on if you use it or not but um, I, 
I, I recommend definitely using shortcuts. Uh, try to learn some, at least, just the big basics. And for the final tip, um, don't give up. Just don't. Just no. Don't give up. Um, it's going to be hard for some people that are familiar with programs like Paint.net. Um, the icons converting from, say, GIMP or um, Photoshop are going to be completely different than fo or Paint.net. It's just how it is. Um, once you get used to the, all the icons and stuff like that, it's going to be a lot easier, trust me. Um, maybe it's just not working for you, and that's fine too. Um, come back to it maybe in a year or so, or six months, or something like that. Just try it again. Um, see if you can kind of feel the tools out and stuff like that. Um, I do have a lot of the basic tutorials in my tutorial series for paint.net that you can go check out if um, you need that extra boost and figuring out, uh, let's say things like the toolbar, which is on the right hand side at the bottom there, or um, maybe how to use layers and stuff like that. Like I cover a lot of all the settings and stuff um, in my tutorial series, so definitely check that out if you're thinking about getting this free program. Um, yeah, so like it's it's going to be difficult for some people at first. Um, people that are familiar with graphics programs and stuff like that, or maybe had some experience with it uh, way back, is it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. Um, they do update time to time. They do change some things around, but um, overall, it's pretty stationary. They don't change too much. Um, all at once so it's easy to learn everything again but um i think at one time they just kind of changed the kind of top bar up there where um files edit all that stuff up at the top there um kind of changed the theme of it. it threw some people off it threw me off for sure um but you know you, you eventually adapt and you go okay that, that's that's what it is okay okay but um Learning anything is going to take time. Um, it's not just going to happen overnight. I mean, take breaks, you know, go get something to eat, come back, try something else. Um, play around with effects, adjustments, layers, kind of feel how everything works. And I'll, I definitely guarantee you, if you watch my videos and stuff, we'll prob you'll probably uh, get the uh, hang of it a lot faster than just kind of playing around with yourself so anyhow if you're new to my channel uh, definitely subscribe I come out with uh, videos regarding games and building series and um, tutorials time to time for uh, software and stuff like that um, yeah so I'll uh, post another video probably tomorrow I have a new series that I'm starting for um, my server which uh, it's kind of like a let's build series, but um, kind of benefiting me in two ways. I get to publish a video and I get to uh, build on the server in the same time. So um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing for the next few videos. Um, I have a lot planned for that series. Um, it might even be broken up into three series for individual um, biomes that we're going to be working on. Um, yes, we're going to be building biomes. <laughs> it's not just, oh, let's build this temple, we, although we do do that um, in the desert, but we're going to be building everything from scratch. It's a custom map, and uh, there's three new biomes that need um, planning and stuff. So, Anyhow, I'll, I'll see you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.